at uh, Queen Elizabeth II uh, Wildlands Provincial Park. Getting a late start today. It's uh, what time is it? Maybe four. It's almost six o'clock. Uh, there's been some weather coming in. We're on uh, Head Lake. Uh, we got a bit of a, a break in the weather, so we're just gonna book it across the lake and get to fish hog tonight here we go we made it across uh, hit lake with uh, only a few raindrops so now we uh, head to uh, head river and uh, do a little portage and hopefully find a site we'll see how busy it is it's a long weekend so how you doing back there good you wet slightly do you want me to paddle uh, That's not a problem for us. Some property for sale. What was the 2100 what? 2100 foot waterfront. That's the address? Oh, <laughs> that's how much footage is on the front? <laughs> I live on 2100 foot waterfront lane. And we're at our first and only portage of the day, 100 meters to Fishog. This portage is marked by a super official sign. Well, we've uh, been going for like an hour and a half, I think, and uh, went halfway around Fishog, but we uh, finally found a site. So, hear more rain coming in, so we're going to hurry up and set up, get squared away for the night. Well, we were getting ready to set up uh, camp here at the site, and then we noticed that there's a warning that the site's temporarily closed because of uh, bear activity here. So, uh, it's 8 o'clock, but we're going to go and find another site here. has a, uh, a bear warning just to hang your food because there's a bear in the area but we're allowed to be here so we where we're staying. So we're just going to finish getting set up and get some food into it. Time for a beverage. Haven't had this before. It's a Space Invader IPA. Cheers. Did you burn yourself? Did you get an owie? That's an owie. Thomas uh, burnt his finger. Uh, he touched the grill. He didn't think it was uh, that hot yet, but it was. So he's just uh, cleaning up his finger, and then we're going to uh, put a Band-Aid and maybe some polysporin on there. And maybe these... Uh, he can pop a T3 with codeine. These things are about 10 years old, so. <laughs> as oh, good as I, new. I, I think it's time to go home. Yep. All right. Uh, we're going to have to use the spot rescue device. <laughs> when I get there, I have like three beers. So how are you going to do the steaks tonight, Thomas? So I'm thinking I'm going to do a fast sear on this uh, grate here, and then I'm going to finish it off with some butter in the frying pan. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lower some 
away from the fire so it doesn't actually burn it. Okay. And then I'll let it rest and cook. What kind of steaks are these? Uh, prime rib. How many ounces? Ounces? Uh, probably... Ten-ish? Ten-ish. How is it? Mm-hmm. 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 So it's good? Delicious. Excellent. For Toronto, 21 for Columbus, there's the 22nd, and it's into the glove of Anderson on a point shot. So would you say Columbus might be... Well, it's uh, morning, day two. Uh, I think it's around uh, 9 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock, somewhere around there. We just got up. We're going to have some coffee. Uh, no real big plans for today. We're not going to move, I don't think. So I think we'll go for a, uh, a paddle at some point check out the uh, the lake a bit. Uh, I'm going to have some bacon and eggs shortly. So that's really the highlight of our morning, I think. What do you think? Bacon sounds good. What about the egg part? Sure, well, okay. What about the coffee part? Coffee is what I'm looking for. All right. I do. Well, how is it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, uh, had to do a repair to the canoe uh, before we came some point last year we got a gouge in the canoe from uh, skidding across one too many rocks I guess but I used some Bondo to uh, fix it but it's a good temporary fix but I can see it's already uh, scratching into the Bondo so we'll have to do a real repair at some point We are uh, just out for a paddle, um, looking for some uh, firewood. Our site's mostly a uh, pine area and there's not a lot of uh, available wood to process, so we went and scavenged this. We found some at another site that uh, campers left this morning, so that's what we're doing. So tonight on the menu we're having uh, roast. Roast beef, what kind of roast uh, beef? blade roast. A blade roast. Uh, we're gonna have asparagus. 
corn on the cob, roast potatoes, gravy. We're having the works tonight, so we're going to uh, sear it in the pan first, and then we're just going to uh, slow cook it in a pot for uh, six, seven hours probably, something like that. And that's it. Should be good. So in the pot we added some uh, red wine, onions, celery, carrots, and a mix of spices. We got garlic, kosher salt, thyme, uh, basil, uh, chili powder, paprika, onion powder. Good. I think that's it. We're just uh, sitting here uh, waiting for our rose to finish and uh, once it's close we'll start the other stuff like the potatoes and asparagus and what else? Corn! So right now we're just uh, chilling, having a, a wee beverage. I'm having a, uh, a bone shaker. What are you having, Thomas? So we're just gonna check the roast. It's been about five and a half hours. Let's see how it's uh, looking here. Oh, oh, it smells good. All right, another hour and a half, we think. Okay, it's been uh, six hours, Thomas? Yep. It's looking pretty good. Give it a little more time. We still have to wait for the potatoes. And here we go, the final product, uh, corn on the cob, roast beef, mashed potatoes and gravy. I mean, seriously, not a bad backcountry meal. First bite. You like that? What? What would you do if I 
I just started yelling hey bear. Uh what would we do right now? Well, I would obviously fight the bear and protect no, we, you. We would pack up the canoe and get the fuck out of here. No, I would protect you because you're weak and you need your uncle's protection. Okay, okay. Or you would scurry out of here like a rat. No, no. I would definitely have to protect you. I don't know if I need protection. I'd have to pick you up and put <laughs> you in the canoe. You'd be so busy sobbing. <laughs> I'd be like, Thomas, we have to get out of here. You're like, Uncle Ron, I'm too scared. Get up. Oh, I, I thought we were talking about my story of how I was going to describe it. No. That's, Except for I'm you and you're me. No, no. I'm just describing actual... I'm describing what we would do this time, but I'm just using actual uh, evidence from the last time we saw oh, a bear. Evidence. A picture of a bear. Yeah, but I'm just like... We were both there, and yeah. we both agree that you were crying. We and do not agree. Like, I said, I said we got to get out of here. The no. bear's going to smell your pee because you am, pissed yourself. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you shat yourself. morning day three it's around uh, 11 30 we are uh, packing up and uh, going up the old dusty trail we've been waiting to see what the weather's going to do but it says there's going to be thunderstorms but it, it's clear right now so we're just going to make a run for it so we're going to hit the water and get going just the one portage to do so oh. watch your step